Russians remove guns from old infantry fighting vehicles and turning them into awkward artillery. The Russian military, due to a shortage of equipment that the Ukrainian armed forces are successfully destroying, is creating new, more bizarre and cumbersome weapons. However, as Forbes writes, the improvised field gun that was shown in a video on Russian social networks last week may be the most unusual and least effective of all these homemade weapons. This is a 73mm 2A28 low-pressure cannon that enterprising Russian technicians removed from a 1960s BMP-1 combat vehicle and welded to a crude carriage so that it could be towed, the publication writes. One video shows a soldier loading and firing the gun at a rate of one round every few seconds. Another video shows a 2A28 gun being pulled by a truck. However, Forbes points out that with each shot, the 2A28 without a turret jumps a few centimeters. As the publication explains, in order to fit a 73mm cannon into the 15-ton BMP-1, the designers of the 2A28 reduced the pressure inside the barrel, resulting in a light weapon with a low recoil, but insufficient shooting accuracy at a distance of more than a few hundred meters. Moreover, if you shoot from the ground without an armored hull to ensure stability, the accuracy will be much worse. All this means that the homemade 2A28 field gun can work against large stationary targets located no more than a few hundred meters away, Forbes emphasizes. But as the publication notes, it seems that the Russians do not have much choice. If at the beginning of the war they were armed with about 4,000 howitzers and rocket launchers, then by now, they have already lost at least 1,400 of these guns and launchers. And although Russia can create new artillery weapons and decommission old Soviet models, it cannot replace weapons quickly enough to make up for growing losses. The relentless demand for firepower on the battlefield means that frontline troops will continue to improvise. The alternative is to do nothing and risk attacking Ukrainian positions without fire support, rather than receiving inaccurate and vulnerable fire support. Forbes emphasizes, Russian occupiers this spring developed a new type of vehicle, a turtle tank. In this way, the invaders decided to fight drone attacks. However, the invention turned out to be very narrowly specialized. As Forbes writes, while the Ukrainian armed forces had no other weapons except drones, the Russians could use these tanks quite effectively. But as soon as the US resumed arms deliveries, Ukrainian artillery returned to the game and the tank's anti-drone protection lost its effectiveness. In addition, the Russian Federation is making extensive use of motorcycle and buggy raid tactics in its offensive operations. A hurricane has hit Russian capital Moscow and Moscow region, local telegram channels reported on Friday. Thunderstorm, rain and strong wind tore through the capital as residents were warned to be cautious. Residents have been urged to withhold from hiding under trees or structures, while drivers have been warned to maintain distance and certain speed limit while driving. Local authorities told residents that public transportation may stop operating due to heavy rainfall across different parts of Moscow. Hail and storm are expected to become stronger in the upcoming hours. One of Telegram channels reported a flooding in one of the underground parking lots in the Dmitrovsky district, adding that sandbags placed in the area have not helped to prevent the flooding. Yesterday a meteorological center warned about thunderstorm with rain and winds in the capital. It should be recalled that severe storms on June 20 killed two people and injured nine others as hurricane-force winds and pounding rain swept across Moscow.